Hello and welcome to the Iceman channel. Today it's going to be a little modding video how to fix your SIM extender fitting nicely to the case of your Proxmark RDV4. It's going to be a hard video to record so bear with me and only get one chance to do it. And I don't edit so yeah. Now if you open up and reveal the SIM module inside the Proxmark RV4 like that. Now if you add an extender like you can do like this I'm gonna like one of those regular ones that you find on uh, AliExpress or whatever and you hook it in you notice one thing it is that the lid not gonna work I'm not gonna push down because you're gonna realize it can't it doesn't fit and the reason why it doesn't fit is exactly that little hook there. And if I take it off again, you will see why. Uh, let's see if you can see this. Oh, uh, yeah. So here, behind there, is a deep hole. Oops. There. And then when you go this one over, it's in the way. But if you look closely here, luckily, this cable here we can cut out a piece so that's what i'm going to do now this trick was uh, invented by uh, philip toe so let's see what we can do let's see i need to add my little thingy let's see i tend to do a little mark a little mark where it is and it's about there Right. Alright, it's a little mark. Not much. That's enough for me. Alright. Oops, I'm gonna be here again. Then I take ooh here. I take a pliers. I take a nice little pliers. And I'm gonna make a little 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 cutty 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 here. So I'm gonna make like this. And then turn around and do a little one on this side. Being extra careful to not pinch the K of a. Uh, yeah, you see that? The wiring cable. Oops, look, like this. Here you go. No. Alright. So. Yeah, being careful, extra careful not to touch that wire there and still make an intendation, right? Uh, there you go. And you see that there is a better fit now. And you can close it a little bit better. It's not good enough, but so we're going to do a next step. I'm just going to make this little thing a little bit bigger is good but it's I'm just gonna make it a little bit more right will not be awful if I like you know cut into things so let's look here again that one's better now it looks good could do a little bit more if you want to later on. That one's there, but I'm not going to do that. The next problem here is I'm going to show like this. I'm going to up here, and I'm going to easily demonstrate it here. Uh, if you see there, there's a let. Oh, this is an edge there, so that fits also into the top of your lid. So what I tend to do is I will remove that. No, no, I'm going to do this. I'm going to be showing actually what I do when I do it. And I make a notch with this little slicey slicey. And I make a notch on this side. And I make a notch on this side here. And then I take this one away. And then I'm going to show you to you. So it's slowly going to do this. So if you can see it like that. All right, like that. I have two notches, and I'm going to cut off 
this layer here. Oh, I don't know if you see it, but can you see if I, oh yeah. Uh, you see that at least so uh, yeah so we make this down all the way down to the baseline so this doesn't protrude protrude all right you look at here a little bit more all right remove it Enter the card again, the sim extender or expander. Look if this is a good fit there, and it quite does. Now I'm gonna put on the lid again. You're gonna find that it fits just perfectly. How about that, right? So now you don't have any squeeze or anything like that. So that's how you modify it to make it fit, all right? And yeah, and just to the fun of it, you can just do, I can show you the back side of this part here. I'll put a cooling element on your uh, FPGA. You can also tell another thing when you design with the Adobe 4 that this is an add-on module, um, so normally you would have designed things and put that sim um, card holder slot um, onto the pcb directly but it's not so it's an add-on it's a last minute change actually so yeah just cut a hole in there so I'll put it in there again not that you need it but you can and now let's hook this one up again and now Finally, and this one here, and put on the slip here, and voila. That's how you, oops, no, voila. That's how you do it. All right. I hope you enjoyed that video. I can only do it once because now I modified that card, so uh, all that, that expander. Uh, let me know what you did to your Proxmark or Flipper or Chameleon or RF Idler or Cloner or whatever. It's so many devices out there, you know, and modding is fun. See ya.